So I've been asked to look at this, which I haven't looked at myself yet. I haven't yet opened it. It's one of these car like jump starter things. It appears to be completely dead. Let's try charging it. But apparently it's uh, not working. I'm not going to open it yet. I'm going to put it on charge for a few minutes and then we'll try it out. So I put it on a charger and we got four lights here. So it's almost like it thinks it's fully charged. Now I'm trying to turn it on and stuff and try this. Nothing going on there. I don't know if the USB ports will work. We'll try that. Any life on the USBs? USB ports got nothing going on. Nothing on the USBs. Completely dead. So I'm not sure if it's got some kind of internal fault where it thinks the battery is fully charged but there's no power. Maybe it's got a blown fuse internally. The fact that these aren't coming on. A bit of a clue. So I'm going to leave this on charge for a little bit and see if anything changes there. We've got the jump start terminals here. Let's just see if we've got any voltage on those. 13.2 volts, okay. If I pull the charger out, what happens? Okay, so the battery is not completely dead. And the charger is working. Okay. What voltage should this be? I have to work that out. So if it's using lithium ion batteries, not lithium ion phosphate, but lithium ion, it, it's probably going to be like 12 volts minimum, 16 volts maximum in that range. I think it's going to be in there somewhere. What voltage is coming out of this charger here? It says 15 volts, 1 amp. That's what it's got there. What are we getting? 17 max. Okay, so 16 volt max is potentially right. Ah, we have a change. It started flashing to 25%. I think it's coming to life. Anyway, what I'm doing right now is doing things like checking not zoom out slightly. Checking these jumper cables, for example. Just going to check these, make sure these work. 0.2 ohms, yeah, that's fine. Check the other one. 0.2 ohms, so the cables themselves are good. We've got the cigarette lot of socket adapter. That probably goes straight through. Um, sometimes it's side you go to matters. There we go, that's working. And here, to the center pin. Yep, that's good as well, so the, that cable works too. So we're eliminating lots of stuff, it's currently charging, so so even I was sitting here flashing, I've tried the various buttons and stuff, like well, the button and the switch, in various combinations, holding down, just pushing and that sort of stuff, and there's no life. Either it is partially dead, or it's waiting for the charge to come up more, because it's currently dead flat. Don't know yet. So what I'm going to do is let this charge up to say 50%, 75%, something like that. It can take a while. And it does have screws here we can get out. This one looks like it's loose. It doesn't look like it's actually done all the way out. It's got a screwdriver. I won't go in there. It's a different screwdriver. Oh no, it is tight. The screws are accessible. It looks like these it's a trim here, we'll probably have to come off because it's obviously going to be a shell case where it's in two halves. So I think these covers here will have to pop off somehow. There you go, like that. That'll give access to it. Still no life. Still nothing, so yeah. So it certainly jumped up from 25% to 50% to 75% to 100% flashing now. Literally in space for a minute. So I'm started taking it apart. I've been trying different things to get it to turn on, and there is nothing happening. So I've started taking it apart. I've loosened off some of the screws already. Let's get the rest of these off and look inside. I'm suspicious that the fact that it's suddenly jumping up that quickly that something's going wrong inside. So, There 
got. Okay. It's just stuck down that side of foam. Thick foam. It's okay, actually had a bit a bigger battery pack in there. Anyway. Battery pack. Doesn't seem to be bulging. I don't know, maybe there's a bit of a bulge there, but that could just be connections inside. That bulge there is making me a little suspicious. But it could be nothing. It could be a temperature sensor or something. Let's unplug this cable here to disconnect the battery from the electronics. And let's just have a look at this. Just in case there's anything to see on here. See that? Could just be a bit of flux or maybe a little bit of liquid, maybe. Just a little bit. Not sure exactly. Now I'm seeing one thing on here, I'm not sure of. Could be nothing. You see this transistor right here? There's like a little dot. There it looks okay. You bring it around, see there's a little dot in the centre. Could just be nothing, could just be a little scuff mark. See that? Like a line. Maybe a sign of failure. I think we should check that. Right, let's test this transistor, see if we get anything which looks like a problem. I'm seeing absolutely nothing there. That is interesting. Now there is another one of those. Let's measure exactly. Right, this one here. This is exactly the same part. Okay. Just want to get the pin out. Okay, that pin's base. So this is the base pin of the dodgy one, the one I'm suspecting is dodgy. There we go, we are getting something there. Maybe I said bad connections. There we are, that's working. Okay, so that transistor's probably alright. It's not testing as bad. So let's check the actual battery pack and see if we're getting an issue from these wires. So what we should have is wires for each cell. Let's just try, I don't want to probe into the side, let's go into here and probe across each one, hopefully I can get each cell voltage. 4.1, cool, next one should be double that, 8.3, yep, next one should be double that, well 50% more of that I should say, so each should go up by 4.1 volts or so each time. So I'm just going to check each one, yep. I've got to be really careful not to short it out because that would be bad. And, there, and this one here. One volt there. So between each of those, so that pair there we've got 4.1, that pair there we've got 4.1, that pair there we've got 4.1, those have got one volt. One of the cells are gone. That cell. So that one there should be a higher voltage than it is because it's only doing one volt, that's what's wrong. I could try injecting voltage into it and see if it will come back. It's not usually a good idea though. So I've shoved a couple of wires in, as you can see, one each side. That would be the negative, that would be the positive. I'm going to hook this up to my power supply here. And I'm going to see if I can get this to slowly come back. I'm going to start with quite a low voltage, I'm just going to do 2 volts. Don't forget it's currently sitting at 1 volt, so it's already trying to double it. And I'm going to drop the current right down because doing a high current on this would be a really bad idea. So let's do 100 milliamps. Okay, we'll turn that output on. Just to make sure it's all good. So positive this side. Negative this side. And there we go. Voltage is coming up. 100 milliamps. So that's slowly creeping up, that's good. 
it's what I expect to see once it gets here the current should start dropping yep that's good so now I'm going to go back and increase the voltage some more now 3 volts should be perfectly safe because that's the minimum voltage of a battery that's what should be the minimum and what will probably happen is I can bring this back if I can bring it back 1 volts quite low, it's a bit concerning it'll need rebalancing, the whole pack will need rebalancing and then it might work ok after that so that's what I'm thinking is going to happen so it's slowly creeping up 100 milliamps so that's doing exactly what I expected to do and it's slowing down, that's also what I expected to do as it's absorbing energy it's getting more efficient and reforming so very important to keep the current very low at this stage because the battery is on the point where it shouldn't really be getting used so we'll see how it goes, I'm just going to be gentle with it and then once it's had a bit of a chance to recover I'll put a bit more in to see how we go see it's getting slower and slower as it's reaching that point where it's struggling a bit more I'll come back after a while if it doesn't catch on fire it should be good that's the only risk of doing this is it could burst into flames you never quite know what you're going to get personally I'd say if you're got in a situation yourself don't try and recover it dispose of it properly in recycling and get another one um, I'm doing this because I want to make a video and it could be interesting to see what happens it may or may not recover sometimes I do sometimes I don't so I've already put the voltage up 3.5 volts and it's only been a few minutes later and the current's still very low this is making me think this battery's got a high internal resistance if I turn the output off we'll see what the actual battery voltage is and we'll see how it's behaving instantly drops by a volt that kind of does confirm that it's got a high internal resistance which isn't good and you can see how quickly that's dropping back down again as well now it may still come right but I'll be surprised if it really does I just want to see what it stabilizes to but I mean it does seem to be slowing down but as soon as I turn the current back on again or turn the power back on again the voltage will jump up instantly see that? jumped up by a volt even 100 milliamps that kind of leads to that high internal resistance thing being a thing so I might let this soak a bit at 3.5 volts at 100 milliamps and just see what happens after you know, half an hour or so then I'll check the internal resistances of each cell and see what we get from that but already you can see the current's dropped and it's got no power in the battery it should be trying to suck up all that power and it's not so I left it on charge for a while now and I've got up to 4 volts but I think this thing's unrecoverable I don't think I can get this to work it just isn't restoring itself now when I've done this previously in other things it's I'll be able to recover them, they've been usable and they've behaved okay as you know they charge up correctly and that sort of stuff this is not charging correctly if I turn the power off you see it collapses instantly by a volt and it's still below 3 volts even though I've had it on for ages now okay it's only a really low current it's been trickling in sort of you know 30 milliamps or so I checked the internal resistance of the battery and well that cell that cell is 150 milliamps resistance which is quite high and you can see it's collapsing down that is gradually coming up the fact it's still not sitting above 3 volts means the chemistry is probably knackered on this cell it isn't going to come back because it just isn't taking power I think it's a case of saying this one's a no fix unfortunately the thing with these I mean you could salvage the cells maybe you could dismantle the pack salvage the three good cells because three of the cells are good there's only one bad cell but obviously then you can't fix the actual device whether you can buy another pack like this to drop in because it's got the terminals built into the pack I don't know if you dismantle the pack you can probably rebuild it and anyway you get you, maybe you could get another pack cell and replace that one bad cell that's also possible I suppose I'm not going there though what I'm going to do is discharge the three good cells because they're sitting at 4.1 volts right now so they're basically like 95% charged I'll discharge those so the pack is a bit safer then I'll dispose of it I mean, you can see now, see it's 1.9 volts, 1.8 volts. It isn't recovering. This thing's had it. Well, can't win them all, so that's a shame. Anyway, I don't know if this ball could be useful for something. I mean, not the ball, this is probably fine. Part of this is a BMS which is on it, which is to protect the battery, which obviously works because it didn't actually let it operate. I mean, maybe this bit could be salvaged and put into some kind of use, but 
don't know. Maybe I'll research if I find another pack to put in it, but probably not worth it. So there we go, I've set this up in my electronic load. I'm now draining those three cells which are still okay. I've got it in series, draining at one amp, and I've got it set to battery mode in this, so I'm gonna discharge to 8.7 volts and then it will stop discharging. So uh just gonna leave it running like that for a while. Let it flatten the battery, then I can dispose of it. Catch you later.